All right, we're gonna look at how to use X unit test projects and use those in an existing solution. So first of all, I have my existing solution. It has a MyCalc project in it with a MyMath class that happens to have an is leap year that I need to update in order to check correctly for years. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this. So first it prompts me for a year. I type in 2000 and it says it's a leap year. 2004 is a leap year also. 2001 is not a leap year. And then 1900 is not a leap year, but it says it is. So I'm just gonna make a few minor modifications to my leap year program. But I wanna do through a test driven development process. So first of all, I need to create my test. So I go up to my solution. I right click the solution and I add a new project. So this new project is going to be an X unit project, X unit. I click here. I could have used the one here because I've used it before, but we'll click this one. And then my project is called my calc test. It doesn't really matter what it is, but I have a my calc project, so I call it my calc test. I then create it and it shows up right here under the solution as a separate item. In order to use it, I need to first add a project reference. So from within the project, so I'm inside of the my calc test inside of the unit test one.cs, I can click on project and I can do add project reference. Then I click on the my calc project, click OK, and it adds a reference in there. Go ahead and save everything. And now I want to have a using statement to then use the MyCalc project. So using MyCalc. At this point, I can now do tests. I want to do a couple of tests to see how they work. The first thing you'll note is there's this thing that says fact. That means that whatever comes out of the assertion here should be true. And it's just one test, the same every time. So I'm going to go ahead and change the name. And this will be leap year. Uh, let's do a equals or leap year equal. And so I'm going to do an equal statement here. So this one is going to be assert and then equal. And then I need to have two different things. The first one has to be my constant. So I'll say true. And the second one is my function or whatever I'm calling. So do my math dot is leap year and pass it the number 2000 because that should be a leap year. I'm also going to do another one just below so you can see a separate test and see how it works. So do public void leap year not equal. And I could use the same numbers if I wanted, um, just make it well, false instead. Um, I'll do assert not equal. And then I can do a uh, maybe false. And then do a my math is leap year and pass it the same number 2000. All right. Save that. And at this point, I can go ahead and run the test and see if they work. So the way you do that is you go up to test. And I like to start, start the test explorer. And then do run right here, run all. And then it runs the program. And I can see my different tests showing up there. So I see the leap year equal. And I... Don't see the other one. Leap year not equal is not showing up because I forgot the fact. So I need to go add a fact in here. Fact. And then save that and run it again. So test, test explorer. And then I can run it again. And then I can see that the leap year not equals also gets tested. 
Now, if I wanted to check multiple years, I might do that with something different. Instead of a fact, I could use a theory. So I will use a theory. So theory. And my theory is that all of these other options will work. So I'll do public void leap year invalid. So we'll do invalid ones and just have a bunch of them. So which ones do we want? Well, I'm going to have an assert statement in here. Assert. And then I'm going to do equals. Or actually, let's do a true instead. So, or a false, I guess. False. And I'm going to do a my math. Math. And I'm going to pass in a variable this time. So in order to pass in the variable, I have to figure out what variable is. And so I pass the variable into my method up here. So I click on the method, and so I'll do int year. And now I'm going to pass this year down here. And then you start saying, well, what years do I have? Well, I want to pass in multiple years. So I'll do an inline data. And here I pass in what years I want. So I want to do the number. Um, so we're looking at ones that are not valid. So let's use 2001. And let's go ahead and add an extra one in there. So just copy that line up a couple more. So let's do 2005 and we'll do 1900. So all these should be invalid. So now I'm going to go ahead and run this test and see if it works. So I go up to test, save it, go to test, test explorer, and I run this. And I can see that I have the leap year equal and the leap year not equal are fine, but the leap year invalid, it failed on the 1900. So I want to change that value. Or not the value, but I want to change the, the code so it works correctly. But I also want to make sure that there are other ones that do work. So I'll have another theory. Theory. And this one will be a public void leap year valid. And I'll do an int year again. And this time I will pass in another set of years. And I'll have an assert statement on this one is going to be true. So I want whatever comes back to be true. So my math is leap year. I'm going to pass it the year. And then I just have to decide which years I'm going to pass. And I'll do that up here with the inline data. Inline data. So what are valid leap years? Well, 2000 was a valid leap year. So we'll keep that one. And we want um, 1996 is a leap year, and 2004 is a leap year. So these shall all be valid leap years. So I'll do a save there. But let's also, let's actually do something different. So let's say 2400 should also be a valid leap year. So I'll go ahead and run this now. So I do a project or test, test explorer, and I now run all my tests and I figure out, is this testing everything correctly? So the invalid leap year of 1900 is still invalid. So now that I have that tested, I can go and fix my code. So I go over to the math.cs, and the rule is basically that if the year is divisible at 400, then it is a leap year. But if it's not divisible by 400, but it is divisible by 100, then it is not a leap year. Oh, I said that correctly. So now you have 
multiples of 400 are leap years. Multiples of 100 that are not multiples of 400 are not leap years. And then multiples of four that are not multiples of 400 or 100 are leap years. And then anything else is not a leap year. So I go ahead and I save this. And I go back over here and I can now run my test again. So I do my test explorer. And I run it. And suddenly all of the tests come out. And that way I know that I have done it correctly. Well, at least to pass the test. And this is how you do tests. You can do theories, facts. You can have equals, not equals, true, false, all these things. 